What's going on, fellas? It's another C Boogie. Y'all know the rest. Hey, I want to salute y'all for subscribing to my channel. And I also want to thank y'all for liking my videos, man. And shout out to the Dime Game Division. All right, let's rock and roll, dog. Be careful overcompensating for your lack of sex appeal in the eyes of women. Let me explain, man. Let's say, for example, that you're a shorter man. You dig? Now, for a shorter guy, there's nothing wrong with compensating in other areas of yourself, man. You know, hitting the gym, you know, working out, getting your six pack on. You see what I'm saying? Um, you know, keeping yourself groomed, keeping your hygiene up to snuff. You know, really, which all men should do. You know, all men should be doing this anyway. You know, but at the end of the day, man, nothing is going to make up for your lack of height, man. None of this is going to put six inches on your frame, dog. You know, so the moment you go around a woman overcompensating for your height, you know, let's say you go around her flashing cash, you know, or, you know, you're walking around with your chest out, you know, with a bravado, you dig, um, you know, you're talking about the kind of job you got. You're talking about what kind of houses you own. You know, and it's not coming off organic, you know. Well, the first thing, first things first, the women is going to pick up on it, you know. And she knows you're overcompensating for your height. You know, she's probably thinking in her mind, well, look, you know, I thought he was a cool guy until he started doing all of this. I mean, she knows you're short. You did. There's no need to, <laughs> you know, there's no need to do all that extra theatrics, man. You see what I'm saying? Just display your personality the best way you can, man, and keep it pushing, man. But if you're dealing with a woman that just have a height requirement and she not budging on it, then, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. You see what I'm saying? So one of the biggest issues with overcompensating for your lack of sex appeal, well, the main reason is, the women know it, you know, the women know it, dog. And a lot of dudes do this all the time, man, and that's where they tend to go wrong. You see what I'm saying? Um, a lot of dudes, man, with the bravado piece, you know, they call that, you know, in a psychology world, trying to display your superiority, you know. And a lot of guys like to do that to women. But once again, man, if that's not coming off natural, if that's not your natural personality, man, it's going to be really off-putting to the female because in those times where you're trying to display your superiority on that woman, you never given her the full range of your personality, man. You see what I'm saying? You're so caught up in that act. You're so caught up in that character that you're playing. You know, she's never going to be able to get a connection with you. You dig? So, you know, that's just one of the things that you got to be careful about when you overcompensate. You know, um, and another thing with the overcompensation of a lack of sex appeal, man, is eventually your insecurities are going to come out, man. I mean, there's no way that it can. So let's just say a woman is around you and, you know, she's talking about her ex-boyfriend. Scratch that. Scratch that. Let's say... Let's say that you're searching a female social media page and you see her ex-boyfriend, right? And let's say you a man that's 5'5", five five, you know, for the sake of conversation, you're 5'5". Five five. And let's say you looked at her Instagram and you found out her boyfriend is a 6'3", NBA player or something like that, or college basketball player, you know? And if you're not secure in who you are, man, <laughs> you may start treating that woman different. You know, one, you may bow down to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Start giving her whatever it is that you want. You done forgot your role as a dominant man. Because now you're trying to meet the standard of our ex-boyfriend. You know, I mean, really, essentially, you're trying to be her ex-boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you wish you could be her ex-boyfriend. 
you know, because maybe you've seen some pictures on the gram where I ask and she's smiling. She's showing a lot of teeth, you know, and they look real happy. So you start playing in your own mind. Well, damn, that's what she likes. She don't like guys like me. You know, she like guys that's 6'3 and play ball. When really, man, that's just a guy she met at the time. For whatever reason, it didn't work. You know, but you done went way in your head with that scenario. You know, so you got to be careful with that too, man. You know. And once again, like another thing that happens is, you know, another kind of behavior that shows with your insecurities, man. You know, you, you may start grinding on a woman. You know, it may it may stir up some some feelings of anger, right? So now you start treating them bad. You know, now you feel that you gotta knock her down a couple pegs. So you start insulting the woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, nitpicking, pointing out every flaw within her. Now any any female of caliber dog, she only gonna put up with so much of that. You know what I'm saying? You know, till she just. You know, be turned off, man, and just really bounce on you, dog. You know, and all that was really uncalled for. You did. So, always be careful, man. Look. All men aren't created equal. Let me just put that out there, man. All men are not created equal. But all men are created unique. Let me say that one more time. All men aren't created equal but every man is unique and that's what a lot of dudes are going wrong at man they're not taking the time to discover themselves and their uniqueness you know and once you find your uniqueness then you know exactly why women are attracted to you you know and it's easier to drive in your lane like that let me give you guys an example right so in the house of the man you know, shout out to Ron Wills. In the house of the man, I'm a healer. You know, that's that's C Boogie's spiritual gift. I'm a healer, right? So by me knowing that, I know exactly why people are attracted to me. You know, not just women, man. I know exactly why, you know, my, my energy attracts other dudes to me, man. You see what I'm saying? Because that's just my natural personality. You know, so really... You know, it's a gift and a curse for me, and I got to be careful with that. But when women come around me, I know exactly how I got to deal with them. Because I took time to figure out my uniqueness. You know, regardless on if a woman, you know, likes the physical attributes about myself. I know for a fact it's more about my energy, my personality, and my spiritual gifts that she actually sees in me. You know, so every man got to take that time for discovery, man. You know, and I guarantee once a man figure this out, man, your world is going to be limitless, man. With the kind of people that you're going to attract, you know, and not just women, you know, in the business world, you know, in your professional career, et cetera, dog. Your relationships are going to be, man, runneth over at that point. At that point, man. You know, so that's the real dime game right there, man. Dominating your spiritual gifts. You see what I'm saying? But let me let me just say it just frank, man. Dog, you're not gonna. It's only so much you can do to compensate for a lack of sex appeal. Just put it like that, man. You see what I'm saying? It's just only so much you can do as far as um, you know, in a lot of black pill circles, they call it looks maxing. Looks maxing. I mean, it's only it's only so much you can do, man. There's only so many muscles you can put on your body. You know, and maybe, maybe if you take it to the level of getting surgery, um, I guess if that make you feel better. But once a female realizes that you got surgery on your chin or jawline, do you really think that's going to garner more respect from that woman at that point? That you done change your whole facial symmetry to attract women? Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, women are more impressed by a guy. That take everything that's good about him, all his deficiencies, and he owns it. You know, that's way more attractive to a woman than going to change who you are, man, and how God made you. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. So you got looks maxing. Some guys money max. You know, 
And look, I suggest you Money Max, man. As men, get all the money and resources that you can get. But do it for the right reasons, man. Don't be doing it out here to try to, you know, impress women, man, and to get women. Because that's, that's going to be the sole attraction that these women have to you is money, dog. Period. Period, man. You know. And if you got the money, but you don't have anything unique about your personality, well, there you go. There you go. You don't put yourself in the lane of a lifelong trick. That's it, man. Even if you got married, man, that's going to be more of a of a whole trick kind of relationship. I even heard something new this weekend called thug maxing, you know, which is funny. But yeah, man, so I guess some dudes out here is playing gangster now. You know, to get women, man, they posing. You know, so they out here trying to thug max. So I guess what they do is, you know, they may go get a bunch of tattoos. They may grow a beard. You know, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I guess just look like a gangster, man. Get some teardrops under their eyes. I mean, that's all good till you run into some real gangsters. You know, I'm talking about some real dudes that bust their hammer proper. Then now you got a whole new set of problems on your hands, man. <laughs> you know, and then you probably end up attracting the wrong women trying to thug max. So, you know, definitely be careful with that. You dig? But like I say, man, with the overcompensation for a sex appeal, man, that's 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 all something uh you know internally that a man has to deal with, you know, in his own mind, in his own spirit, in his own heart. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got to get comfortable with yourself. You know, and I actually got some tips and tricks, you know, that I'm going to be laying out uh, within the next few months, man, on how to get more comfortable with yourself, man. You know, comfortable with your strengths, comfortable with your gifts, your spiritual gifts, and also your deficiencies, man. You know, as men, we all got deficiencies, man. You know, I mean, we all got things that we wish was a little bit better, you know, but hey. You can only do so much, man. You know what I mean? You can only do so much. And let me let me say this, man. Let me say this, man. When a woman really likes a man, your deficiencies, don't they become real cute to her? You see what I'm saying? Like, real talk. So, I'll give you an example. Like, when I was young, right, I used to get teased for my big-ass ears all the time. You know what I'm saying? I used to get teased by, like, you know, in the black community, how we do roasting and stuff like that, you know, cracking on each other, whatever you want to call it, shooting the dozens. I I used to get teased for my big ass lips and my big ass ears. But now, a lot of women say that they like my ears, man. No cap. You know what I mean? They use words like cute. Some women even call it sexy, you know? So that's when you know a woman really failing you, man. When she can look at your deficiency. And she don't even see him as a deficiency no more, man. You know, she start to like it. And <laughs> you did. So anyway, man, look. I'm going to close this video up, man. You know, every man, dog, just find the uniqueness inside yourself, man. You know, really, really take some time for self-discovery. I guarantee, man, it'll work wonders in your life. And it'll start to pay dividends over time, man. You know, be patient with yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know, don't beat yourself down. And um, life is good, man. So shout out to the Dime Game Division. Peace.